think we're supposed to do something. We already made love. Uh, we only live in this small little five foot space. Mm -hmm. I sleep on the floor right there. Who's a D and D story? This story comes from Logan. Me. Uh, I host a Tomb of Annihilation game, which is the most recent pre-written, second most recent? Yes. The cool one. Um, Christmas Strat's pretty cool. Yeah. This story, in, like, the central hub of the game that you play is a place called Port Nyanzeru, and, uh, in the port, they have this area dedicated to, uh, dinosaur races. So, um, what happened was the characters, uh, early on had killed someone accidentally, um, which put them in a lot of debt because someone had to pay off that fee for them killing the person so that they didn't go to jail. And in order to pay off that debt, they either die or participate in the dinosaur races and win. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm playing a uh, dwarf barbarian mm -hmm. named Flint, by the way. And uh, he's not, like, crazy chaotic. He's more just kind of does his own yeah. thing. So. <laughs> He's chaotic when he's bored. He's a, he's a heavy instigating character. I'm just an instigator. <laughs> and then we had Garrett, who I believe is a cleric. Uh, Garrett is yes. played by Spencer, who mm -hmm. is a cleric. But, Halfling cleric. Halfling um, cleric. His, his character went first. They It was like the simple races with the slower dinosaurs, and then uh, the unchained race, which is where the dinosaurs <laughs> and you, Yeah, you gave fight. us like a choice, yeah. too. You were like, all right, you can either uh, go in the normal race, the, 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 the vanilla race, or you can you can have the unchained race. And I was just like, oh, the fun race or, or, the, or yeah. the crappy race? <laughs> so uh, Spencer really bonded with the slowest, oldest, shittiest dinosaur in the whole pen, and then just smoked everyone else. Kept, like, hitting the 20s and all the NPCs. Like, well, one of them, I think, crashed into the fish market. Another one flew off the cliff. And it was one of those dinosaurs, so too, that wasn't, it's not like even, even like a dinosaur. It's just a big lizard. It's and just it, a, its like legs a, just go yeah. like this. It's just like. <laughs> and then I'm like, mm -hmm. so I want a T Rex. He went into the pen and he's like, hmm, so there's this dinosaur I don't know the name of, that dinosaur I don't know the name of, an angry velociraptor, and a big ass T Rex. The little dwarf riding, riding a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he pulls up to like the start of the races, and on the other lines, there's a flying dinosaur. Like there was a net over the top so that they couldn't leave. And um, I let Spencer play that NPC, and I let Colton play um, another one who was riding a Velociraptor. It was like some skinny elf dude. <laughs> and you made him like like make up their names too. <laughs> yeah. uh, the pterodactyl's name was Yelly. And, and <laughs> Kelly was its writer. So dumb. Yeah. Flint on the back of Scarback. Yeah, Yelly and Kelly. Yeah, Yelly and her, be her best friend Kelly. Yeah. And then rolling up right next to the dwarf on a T-Rex is an albino dwarf on a T-Rex named Doom. Yay. Jacob is just like, oh crap, and Flint is just like, uh, Right out the gate, everyone's trying to get like as far down the race as, as possible. So they're all making these speed rolls, which is really strange because the book describes it as basically it's going to be a dinosaur war. There's no racing. Everyone it's like raced. Mario Kart. It was, yeah, yeah, it was like there's Mario. red shells. So um, <laughs> Doom, I think, had a couple of like javelins. Oh yeah, we could take our weapons yeah, too. And I had, had like weapons. a, I had a mall and mm -hmm. javelins, and I was like. <laughs> All right, let's so, go! Right out the gate, as they're going, you just take out your maul, look at Doom, and slam it into the T-Rex. So they fall Get behind the it. Fuck yeah. out of here. I think you threw a javelin at Yelly and Kelly. Oh, yeah, well, they were yeah. ahead, so I was just like, well... Yeah. So just, I, well, I load up a javelin, and I miss, and then yeah. I load up another javelin, and I look over at Spencer, and she's just like, don't kill <laughs> Yelly. And I'm like, why wouldn't so, you let me win the dinosaur race? So what happened yeah. was um, the Velociraptor rider jumped 30 feet into the air, nicked Kelly off of Yelly, like flew over, so the pterodactyl had no rider, landed on the ground, and skidded her face like 20 feet. Thanks. Kelly, Kelly was not thanks okay. for Thanks for letting me not win the race, but uh, you know. So Kelly and Yelly are out of the race. Um, the Velociraptor riders do it just fine, and Doom comes up, and what weapon did he have? He had like a sword or something. I don't remember. He, he, was, he was not happy. But the Velociraptor was still behind you. So what he does is he pulls out a net and he throws it and just perfectly 
entangles uh, yep. Scarbeck the T-Rex. So, Jacob... <laughs> I uh, am uh, not entangled, however. Mm-hmm. And I and he's, like, riding up next to me. You just Scarbeck is like... Bruh, and I'm like... Bah! So, <laughs> I jump um, Doom and Doom's T-Rex come right up next to him. I did, like, a jump, and then I, like, turned sideways, and with my tiny feet, I just kicked him, and then oh. landed. <laughs> uh, you had to get, like, because... This thing was just going to stop and like try to eat you because you weren't mm-hmm. its rider. He got a natural 20 on his uh, animal handling roll. So he was fine for the rest of the race. Doom was out, Kelly was out, and now it's just you and this other guy. And they're nearing the end at this point. Like The mm-hmm. race has gone pretty far. Um, so you have to make a few animal handling checks whenever uh, either your dinosaur takes damage. You are like neck and neck with this Velociraptor. Right at the very end, you rolled a natural 1 on your animal handling check. It stopped like five feet from winning, bucked you, nah! back, and then tried to eat you. Yeah. So, so uh, the, the guy on the Velociraptor like zooms through the finish line. Yeah. Uh, so we're all in combat, and mm-hmm. like the crowds uh, are going nuts because yeah. like the T Rex is turned into like a gladiator yeah, battle it, where it, we're like we're fighting a T Rex, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like level two. Like some or of the one. guards come in and try to help, and then the party was at the finish line waiting, so it, it just eats the guards. And- and it looks like everyone's about to die. Yeah, well, uh, mostly because, uh... You were. So what happens somewhere in the city or outside the city is this rumbling, like this thunderous noise. So there's this thudding and thudding, and then finally, right as Flint is about to be eaten, is Scarback, who managed to get out of the net all by himself, and Every was so... And, then I fall apart. and he just came in and slammed uh, Doom's T-Rex in, into the side, and it was just everyone watching wounded on the ground while two T-Rexes just had at each other. Scarback uh, f- killed the killed the T-Rex. And was in the middle of eating it, and it was like in a blood frenzy, and it looked over at Flint. And I was like, Jacob, roll animal handling. Okay. You got another fucking 20. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you got another 20. So Scarback, like blood of another T-Rex going down its face, just looks at him and it's like... <laughs> and walks off into the jungle. Good. In your darkest that's... hour. Scarback will return. I hope so. I hope so because we we to have. Eat you. What if he became like a horse though? And I rode him through the jungles. <laughs> It'd make it so much easier to travel. Oh, so easy. Chilt is so big. That's the story of how we did some dinosaur races.